close our time together. For you. Um, and, and just, we like to know what we can do better, and we like to, um, we're constantly in a place of, of asking the Lord how this best can be delivered to people. This is our first time uh, splitting it up as an Elevate 1 and Elevate 2, so I'm going to say a promo for Elevate 2. Yeah. God has been downloading stuff into us, and we've had to rewrite Elevate 2, the second half of Elevate, probably about three or four times, because God is giving us fresh revelation and fresh word, and so it got it got so big that we could no longer do this in two days. Um, so, I mean, in one night and a day, so in one weekend. So what we're doing is we're splitting it up in Elevate 1, which is what you guys just got to experience. You'll get free weapons in Elevate 1. These are things that you can do today. You just went out and practiced speaking life. I want you guys to know, as a ministry, we did this in 2009 and 2010. We disciplined ourselves with accountability and 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 love for one another to, to be obedient to God. We chose obedience. We were choosing to believe God and we spoke it out of our mouth until we programmed our spirit now where I'm telling you negativity doesn't have a place. Hardly at all to ever come in anymore because we've been filled so much with the word of God and with his promises and this truth. So you can have the same thing. You can also walk out these doors and not apply anything that you've learned today, and your life can go right back to what it was before. <laughs> but <laughs> we're not going to do that, right? No. We're going to go out changed because we've all been changed today, and we're going to apply these principles to our lives. So Elevate 2 is, is another level of empowerment. This is taking, and, if, and I'm telling you, Elevate the Elevate 2 is going to be in February. So you guys have... Three months to practice, believe, choose, and speak. If you will commit to 90 days of believing, choosing, and speaking, I'm telling you, by the time you come to Elevate 2, you are going to be so on fire. Yes. And you are going to be so transformed that everything that we have for Elevate 2 is just going to add the fuel to the fire that's already burning inside of you. Yes. We're going to, a lot of Elevate 2 is learning or, or being able to know what it means to walk by Holy Spirit, to live by the Spirit of God. This is your identity. This is the greatest gift that Jesus had to give you was his Spirit. And we, I grew up in a church that did not teach me anything about Holy Spirit. I did not know the fullness of Holy Spirit. And, and I find that most believers, most Christians don't know. And, and so what we want to you to know is that your life can get this so much better and so much uh, more powerful through the Spirit of God. So Elevate 2 is going to help launch you into some greater levels of healing. So mark your calendars down for February. I don't have the exact date on me. 26? No, that's January. 23rd. 23rd. February 23rd. Um, <laughs> if you want to attend Elevate 1 again, we will have Elevate 1 January 26th, and we encourage you if, to come again or invite other people. So here's ways that you can pay it forward. Many people that went this last spring um, have come back and they, they came again but also sponsored other people. We have found in ministry that the people that usually are desperate and need this information the most are usually the ones that can't afford it. So we're asking you, if you would like to sponsor someone between now and January, um, to you can either do that today or sometime leading up to that point uh, in January when we do Elevate One. Another thing that we want you to know that, that goes along with this, uh, I know you guys are all filling out your paperwork uh, or your response sheet. In the corner over here, we have a foundation that was started this year by True North Star Ministries called uh, We Believe in Second Chances. We Believe in Second Chances is an initiative for city and community transformation through the restoration of the lives of people through clean and sober living, mentoring, discipleship, um, 
job, uh, employment, um, housing, uh, and, and basically coming behind and raising up a life that has what's actually what Linda declared, that used to be in prison, used to be oppressed, used to be uh, broken, and, and the rest, there's another part of Isaiah 61 right there that says they will become oaks of righteousness uh, and the city builders. So we truly believe in that word that the broken are the builders, that, that you, I want, I'm pointing at you, I want you to know that you're a city rebuilder. Yes. That you are the ones that are called to raise up the standard of Christ over a city and to see a city transformed through your transformation in Christ and the full activation of, of him in you. So that's what we're doing. Um, another part of that we're funneling into this is there's a movement right now called the Power of Ten. And this is another way that you can sow in and give to what is going on both with Elevate and Second Chances. The Power of Ten is taking that you with $10 a month can begin to restore or provide um, the means to restore a life. So I want you, I'll give an example. When 100 people decide to give $10 a month and 100% of that money is going to help provide housing, a job, transportation, debt reduction, uh, and and mentoring and counseling for a person, um, that life, the chances of that life having success and being and, and moving into fullness and healing yeah. uh, is is like eighty percent. It's astronomically high. Sorry, guys, I'm talking really bad. Um, so what what we're saying is is that it doesn't take a ton of money from every person. It just takes a little bit of money from. A lot of people that will come together and say, I want my I want my city transformed. So you need to know that this isn't just happening here. This is happening all over the nation. That th there's a movement that's that's happening about second chances, about recognizing that that people are the the um, the resources, not just the resources, people are the currency of the kingdom. I'll say it that way. There's nothing else on this earth that has value for the kingdom except for you <laughs> and others. And so when we learn how to steward people well, we're learning how to use and value the currency of the kingdom of heaven. So we, those are ways that you can partner with us. Those are ways that you can begin to see transformation. We believe God is going to transform cities and states and nations through this movement of restoring lives. You want to add something? right here. Right now, right. we believe in secondchances.org. Okay, we believe in secondchances.org. That's that information. That's where you can actually register for Elevate. There is a little. If it's on your phone, there's a little uh, menu on the right hand side. Click the menu, and it'll show you Elevate. You can register right now for to come again to Elevate One or, or to two. come to Elevate Two. Yeah. So I just want you to know that that opportunity is already online for you. When you're ready. Awesome. So I'm really proud of all of you. You've done an awesome work today. Wow. You have stuck through some of the nitty gritty and hard stuff. Um, and and we're, I'm just going to pray over you. And as we go out today, uh, I'm just going to bless you. And we're going to seal everything that God did yeah, in your in Amen. your heart, in your brain, in your life today. Um, one of the things is if you want to stick around for a little bit and help us with some cleanup. I know there will need to be some vacuuming and picking up of, of bottles and garbage. And so if you're able to stick around for a little bit to do that, that would be awesome. I'm going to pray over you guys. Lord God, you're amazing. And I love you. You're awesome. And I thank you for each person who is here today. I thank you for your miracle power that was demonstrated through healing, uh, through deliverance. And through all the ways that you have uh, revealed your truth today, yes. Lord, we just seal right now all that you accomplished by your spirit. Holy Spirit, take each of these lives and continue to minister them. One of your names is the counselor. And we declare that you are going to counsel these people as they go out these doors. That you will continue to bring to their memory the things that were spoken. Lord, that these people would take their speak life books 
and they would begin to activate their daily life through speaking the word of God. And that they would get their Speak Life books out and that they would read them out loud over their life, over their day, multiple times a day. That They would take three by five cards, they would write down the promises of God and they would begin to declare them over their life. I pray, Lord, that you would expose any areas of our life that we're still needing to surrender to your belief system and, and that uh, lies of the enemy would be identified if there are any remaining. Because I don't know, we cleared house today. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, I bless you. Amen. 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 You're dismissed. If you would just bring your response sheets back up here to the front, that would be great. Thank you. Do you oh, there's church tomorrow at 10? There is also a church tomorrow at 10 if you would like to join us here at Big Foundry.